onion, parsley, and of course my Denver steak. And I'm going to use egg, flour, and oatmeal crumb to cook some bone marrow on the side. Okay, this is our quality standard Denver steak. It's one of the more interesting cuts from the chuck. And with our Denver steak, the fifth step is to wrap it in cling film and then put it into a sous vide bag. So I'm wrapping it in cling film to make sure that we keep a nice shape when we're cooking it through the water bath. Okay, we put our steak into our sous vide bag. Make sure, again, you've got the shape nice and straight because we want that really perfect long steak. Okay, we're popping the Denver steak into the water bath. We're gonna cook that at 60 degrees for 10 minutes, just really nice and gently. That just helps the tenderization and slow cooking process. Okay, we've got our Denver steak. I've just drained off the juices and I've seasoned the steak and then put some clarified butter onto the steak. Remember, there's no fat on the steak. And then pop your Denver steak onto your char grill. And all we're going to do is sear it on either side. We just want to serve that steak beautiful and medium to rare. I'm going to move the steak 45 degrees, just one motion, 45 degrees. And I'm going to turn the steak over, and now we're ready to plate up. First of all, we've got to get our caramelised onions, the two spoons, this is the tricky bit, just quenelle, a nice sort of shape. We get those, pop them onto our plate like so, and we've got our croquettes, marabone croquettes, go on next. And then we've got our Denver steak, we're just going to pop along the side, just cook beautiful and rare. And just to finish, some roughly picked parsley, which just adds a little bit of bite and colour to our dish at the end. And there you go, we've got a beautiful, top quality Denver steak.